Hi, I'm Sheila Flanagan, the best-selling author of Her Husband's Mistake, and I am delighted to answer some of your questions received through the Eason's Ask hashtag. Um, so diving straight in, the first one is, I can say that you are among my top favourite authors, especially after reading Her Husband's Mistake. Thank you. Um, what's the process behind writing a novel like this? Well, the process for me in every novel is more or less the same. I'm interested in a theme or a character, and then I like to develop both of those over the course of the novel. So in the case of Her Husband's Mistake, Roxy is the sort of person who always puts other people ahead of herself. And I've put her in a situation now where she needs to think of herself ahead of other people. And, you know, it was interesting for me to see how she struggled with that and, and how she changed over the course of the novel. Um, so that's how it works for me. You know, I, I developed the character and I developed the story at, at the same time. And so far, so good. Um, I've managed to get to the end every time. Okay, I know it's impossible to make a favourite, but do you have any characters that have stayed with you more than others? Well, uh, Isabel from Isabel's Wedding, which is one of my early novels, has stayed with me. And that's mainly because uh, she's somebody that readers still ask me a lot about, even, uh, even after all these years. And she was also the polar opposite of me of me in of me in many ways. So so I enjoyed writing about her and um, I also hope she's kind of doing well. Uh, Imogen as well from The Missing Wife. And she has stayed with me and that's because she her journey was difficult and her story was difficult and it was difficult in parts to write. And um, I, I, I again hope that after the end of the novel, she's continuing to do well. You publish at least a book every year and one of the hardest working Irish authors today, as far as I can see. How do you maintain such a consistent workflow and have you any advice for anyone who's struggling with writer's block as I am at the moment? Um, well, I, I mean, I can maintain the workflow uh, and thank you for saying it's consistent, but I maintain that because I, I actually like what I do. So that's, that's of course, really important. And, um, you know, I, I, I enjoy developing characters and I enjoy... Um, writing their stories and I, I feel that that's that's really the main reason that that I would be consistent in terms of um, writer's block I always find that if if I'm struggling I, I go and do something different I, I play sport and that means that my subconscious mind is is relaxed um, my conscious mind is doing something else I'm not thinking about the novel I'm, I'm, I'm looking at something else entirely and suddenly my subconscious kind of works on it all by itself and that really helps it helps me and I, I hope it helps you too um you previously had a career working in the financial services industry is there anything would tempt you to go back to this realm of work no that, one, that was an easy one to answer and out of all the books you've written is there one in particular that you've enjoyed writing the most well the book that I'm currently working on, I've almost finished it to be out um, later in the summer, uh, The Women Who Ran Away, was really enjoyable to write because um, because it was a road trip through France and Spain and all my favourite parts of France and Spain and it was like visiting them all over again even though I was staying at home. So um, that's it. Um, thank you to everybody who submitted a question to Eason's Asks. Um, my book, Her Husband's Mistake, is out in paperback now and you can order it online from eastons.com. Thank you.